So startup uh, TN, uh, Tamil Nadu Startup and Innovation Mission, being branded as Startup TN, is always concerned about the growth of startups in the state. Now, over the last two years, even the SMEs is talking about APIs. Even the SMEs are talking about how to do real-time banking. So very much that digital adoption has uh, uh, kind of triggered uh, the startup fraternity as well. And I'm seeing a remarkable shift uh, in the uh, overall opportunity that is available to the founders. Uh, if there's an idea now, founders are no longer shy of trying it out. Uh, there is support available across the ecosystem. A fantastic time for the entire ecosystem. Uh, COVID has somehow only accelerated that process where government, private institutes, large corporates and investors are for the first time thinking on the same vision and coming together. So in this age of, you know, technology and social disruption, the most critical pillars for startups to scale up to the next level be, will be disruptive digitization and ample amount of financial strength and muscle that can be gained through capital spectrums. The banking system is going branchless, but the ability to bring the larger population tier two, tier three, uh, on a fintech platform is really emerging and the biggest opportunity hence lies in India uh, from that perspective. So adding to that branch point, the time has gone where you want to go to a tier 3 and set up a branch. But the opportunity to convert the entire 1 lakh population in a tier 3 city to bring them on a fintech app and get them to swipe or use Google Pay or whatever mechanism, right? You need to categorize yourself. Are you a lifestyle business? Or are you a business with a founder mindset who have the mindset to walk a treadmill uh, which is growing 50% a month on an average, right? The other side is building a business which is highly, highly scalable, like a next Swiggy or a next Licious, right? Really building a category creation, right? And those opportunities are immense. Uh, raised a $500 million fund in Singapore which is now completely aimed at the new age ecosystem. So no balance sheets, no no profitability, nothing. Uh, DBS along with Tamasek has done that. And that same model has to come to India. 